All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole for elect scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Back at you again with a do another show. As always, I say before these lessons, may the Lord edify those of the whole for elect. May He build upon your faith. You know to endure all the way to the end you know and um you know pray for fewer days in this place because we're definitely living in the latter days man we're definitely living in the time where this place babylon the great is going to be destroyed all right so this video is based on you know the flavor of the week is uh youtube to ban hateful videos with supremacist content you know there was a video the brother Chappal in the camp sent me um rt news and um i seen other brothers videos and apostles you know elder apostle Tahar, he did a video on it um this is crunch time you know because we're approaching the steps these are just more steps approaching the time where the lord is going to bring a famine on his word man all right the lord used the internet all right for a reason um let me see if i can get that scripture uh the Lord used the internet for a reason, man. All right? He used the internet to spread forth his gospel. I ain't get it in a while. Let me uh, bear with me one second. I bet. Um, right. You know, the Lord, the Lord used um, the internet to spread forth this gospel, and He used individuals. You know, starting for Ivan Bivens, Elder Yaquab, King Masha. All right. Um, uh, down to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Apostle Tahar. You know, Gabar. Uh, Apostle Rumlob, uh, Apostle Rakar, all right, and uh, the men on down that's continuing in that same gospel, teaching the word, teaching the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, teaching 100% truth, all right. This truth is going out to the four corners of the earth, and it says in Matthew 24, when this word go out through the four corners of the earth, this gospel, then shall the end come. We're approaching the very end, so. For YouTube to ban brothers' videos and category our videos under hate or things of that nature, well, this is prophecy. Okay, I uh, just want to say too, um, you know, my channel, GMS Shield the Faith, the original channel, all right, was um taken down about two months ago. I had got two strikes at once or three strikes at once, which didn't make any sense. You know, whenever I got strikes before, I had that channel for a couple of years. Whenever I had strikes, you know, I would, you know, they wouldn't allow you to live stream and do certain things. They restrict it, you know, for the most part. Hey, I kept by the rules of YouTube, man. All right. But then all of a sudden they just took my video, my channel down, you know, and I had all these videos done. Brothers, you know, brothers put videos together countless nights where you meditate, taking hours to edit a video together, you're doing something like a mini movie, you know, and all the work and research and stuff. It's all gone, but the Lord said, "Is He said our treasures is stored up with Him, our work is, is stored up with Him." Uh, matter of fact, the Lord said He's not um, forgetful of our works and our labor of love, man. But anyway, um, you know, now a brother in the camp, the brother Shapal, you know, um, his channel was taken down without warning, without any strikes. They just took it down, you know, and uh, he believes that it was due to a, a video he did, but. But they didn't even give him a strike or a warning. So this is going to happen to more of you brothers out there teaching this word of sincerity and truth. And uh, like Elder Ayatun, you know, he did a post on it, a, a take on it. Um, you know, you know, here at Great Millstone, see, we don't teach, um, we don't teach this word for money. We don't teach this word for views. We don't teach for likes. All right. We teach this word 
so that the hopeful elect can receive the gospel. Well, our hopes is that the Lord spread this word and that these men, the laborers, wake up, all right, so they could be sealed. And it looks like, you know, the men of the Lord are sealed, man, because when this famine actually happens and they take away the content of us, uh, of us, uh, well, of the videos uh, that we do here on this unicorn on the, you know, surface of YouTube, then you won't be able to find this gospel. You won't be able to have brothers teach you this word and you to pause and go into the scriptures and write down notes. There's truly a famine that's coming upon this word. All right. And I'm going to get the scriptures. You know, the time of mercy is coming to a close. The time of repentance is coming to a close. And eventually what's after is the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So thumbs up to the YouTubers. All right. Or to the, you know, the agents that put this algorithm together, you know, and put these restrictions out there to muffle the word of the Lord. Because it's all a part of prophecy. You know, and I'm going to read it to you. So, but first, let's get this. Psalms 19 and 1. It says, The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament show of the handiworks, his handiworks. See, the heavens, when we look up and I see this beautiful blue sky and the clouds, that reminds me of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. When I see the trees, you know, the natural trees that the Most High created, it reminds me of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? When I see the birds and I see the animals, it reminds me of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament show of his handiworks. All right? Day unto day utter a speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is going out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them have he set a tabernacle for the sun. All right, and this is clearly talking about the internet. This is why the Lord gave you Edomites the power. All right, with technology. Okay. And the one way and the, and the important reason why he allowed you to have this Internet of Things, you know, and all this information to spread forth because the Lord was using it to spread forth his word. You see, this is how you being taken down. He saw the most high got you in a trick bag. All right. And now these elites and now these agencies, they hating the fact that people are really figuring out your bullshit. You really, truly being exposed as uh, Paul wrote in Thessalonians. He said uh, he shall be revealed in his time. Right now, Esau is being revealed of who he truly is, man. Okay? You Edomites. We we now know who's Esau. Esau, Edom. And you're being revealed in this time at your very end. You know? These these guys think it's, um, you know, it's the, you're going to shut the you're gonna shut the prophets up and then everything going to go on. No, the wrath of the Lord. You're going to truly see the power in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And then you're going to know there was prophets among you, man, when these things come to pass. For we warned you, man. All right. And this is beautiful times, man. This is beautiful, man. All right. It says day unto day, utter a speech, night unto night, show of knowledge. What does that? The Internet. It helps the brothers actually 24 hours, 24 hours a day. It never closed. The Internet never closed that this word is going out. So it's going out so far through the four corners that you got brothers in Africa. You got brothers up in UK, man. You got Holland Dutch. You got um uh brothers in Australia. I believe the elders say you had a brothers in um was it Japan or China? You got brothers in Philippines, man. Brothers in Mexico. This word is out, man. Alright. Day unto day utter a speech and night unto night show of knowledge. And that's what the Lord said through Jeremiah 315. He said, I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. It's not talking about your poor child pastors in the churches. All right. He's not talking about some rec some ph false philosopher, uh, God's body, you know, uh, uh, what you call it, five percenter. Um, he's not talking about a man that went and learned this doctrine through theologian school he's not talking about vocab malones okay he's talking about true men of the lord who he woken up through the spirit all right and who he taught all right who he supped with which he supped with men 
So in order for you to get this word, you have to be what? A follower of men, of righteous men. All right. That's just the way the Lord worked. All right. So it says they, uh, there is no there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. For their line is going out through all the earth. How is this going out through all the earth? Through the way of the internet. And and, and to be more precise through this uh, YouTube, man. It says, their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. And them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. All right. So a famine of the word, the famine of the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is, uh, is coming into an end, all right? And it's all due to prophecy, you know? Um, what's this, Deuteronomy 3 through 17? Let me see something. This is the scripture right here. Deuteronomy. This is Deuteronomy chapter 33, 17. His glory is like the fastling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of a unicorn, which another word, another meaning of internet is unicorn, man. You know, and a unicorn of things. It says, with them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth. And they are the ten thousands of Ephraim and they are the ten thousands of Manasseh. All right. So um I wanted to go into something. Uh what, what did I have? Uh, bear with me, uh thing of the word. I can't remember the scripture that I wanted to grab. But anyway, here's the article. And I read the first paragraph. It says, YouTube to ban hateful video with supremacist content. YouTube has updated its hate speech policy and will now ban videos with supremacist content. As well, it says, as well, clips promoting certain conspiracy theories. So, not only, um, you know, us, because they categorize us as a hate group. But the Bible teach hate, and we're just bringing out the scriptures as it is written, all right? But you got guys that, YouTubers that do videos exposing the government, exposing who the, who the Illuminati is, all right? Which are the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergs, the Rockefellers, the DuPods, the Gettys, all right? These international bankers and the things that they do, they're being exposed. Esau is tired of it, man, all right? But as he gets tired of it and as he put clamps and restrictions on truth so he can spread forth his lies... That's the end of him. You know, it all lines up, man. You know what? The Lord said, um, let me get this real quick. This is uh This is Psalms chapter 10. And um And two, the wicked and his pride do of persecute the poor. All right? Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. So you're being taken in a device that you have imagined. OK, because when you go to restrict this word and basically hush the word, the gospel up, then comes the end, man. All right. Then comes the end. You know, right now, Esau want to shut up. OK, truth. Because he's being exposed. And number one truth is the gospel. It's the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, of the world knowing that he is the Esau Edomites. All right. Um. I'm still trying to think of the scripture that I was going to get. I should have wrote it down. But, um, I had, uh, let's see here. It's going to come to me right when the video is over. Uh, let's just get, uh, Amos 8 and 11. Yeah. This is Amos chapter 8. Verse 11, it says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So, yes, there's coming a time where the Lord 
all right it's gonna put a famine on this gospel and i just it just reminded me the lord just reminded me of the scripture that i wanted all right let me um let me get pull this up real quick and then i go back to amos 8 and 11 um he just reminded me and that is uh Yep. Six. Let me pull this other up. All right. Before I go to Amos, let me read this because this is two verses. This is Ezekiel chapter three, verse twenty-six. Right. It says, "And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house." So the Lord is saying that he what he's going to make our tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth so that we won't reprove and correct anyone in the ways of salvation, man. All right. We teach the way of salvation through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it's coming in that time where, you know, you probably see us, you, you probably watch, you probably know a little bit. But if you haven't truly repented, the doors of repentance is closing. All right. If you haven't truly seek the Lord and pray for mercy, the doors of, of mercy is closing, man. You know, it's not about Jay-Z and he becoming a billionaire and, you know, he basically, um, um, you know, invested in gel, uh, what is it, uh, 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 ankle bracelets with microchips to GPS track you. It's, it's more than that, you know. It's not just about celebrity gossip, you know. This truth is clearly about you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, Native, and Seminole Indians, and that you, in fact, are the Hebrew Israelites that the Bible speaks of. It's time for you to wake up. The Most High put us into this captivity, okay? He put us into this captivity and this punishment and, and this way of life today for punishment, man, all right? So that we can cry back out unto him. And now this word been going out. The elect been crying out. So the Lord is going to put a hush. He's going to put a, not a hush. He's going to put a, 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 a hammer down on who could be delivered. All right. When it comes to rehearsing the righteous acts, when it comes to repentance. Okay. You know, we know about the 11 o'clock Israelites, but that's according to Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right. And that day who he chooses. You know, right now, you know, the way the Lord set it up for the brothers, all right, our spiritual fathers, elders, apostles, they set it up. The Lord set up this foundation to teach this truth. But now the Lord is taking back the truth. He wants the prophets to shut up eventually, okay? So it says, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to them a reprover. So there's no more oil you going out. No more for you to be corrected. It says, for they are a rebellious house. Now, who was that rebellious house? You Israelites, man, who I just named. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, and Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites. And you are a rebellious house, man. Okay? You are the most stiff-necked and hard-headed people, man. <laughs> you know? All of this is happening because of you. Okay? Jacob's trouble is coming to you. The Most High is going to raise up the sword, which is Esau. And they're going to come down upon you. It says, verse 27, But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say to them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Okay, so for he that heareth, let him hear. He that have understanding, let him understand, man. Okay? The scriptures say, um, um, he that heareth the most high heareth us. All right? And that's why I see and I understand why, you know, um, the time in which we living in, you know, and, and um, the Lord sealing his elect because the word of the Lord is, is coming to an end. The gospel is coming to an end, man. All right? The Lord is clearly closing up the breaches, man. He's closing up. The doors of repentance. All right. And that now the elect, <laughs> the elect is sealed, man. Uh, what's that? 
uh, Revelation 7. It says, But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, he, he, that, he that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear. So you forsake this and you think this is a joke. <laughs> you know, we don't get as many views as the biggest YouTubers. And so we're nothing, right? But guess what? We have the actual goal. We have the actual stability, the knowledge, and what you're going to want to possess in that day to save you and your family, man. <laughs> All right? And I'm talking to the Hebrew Israelites, you, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, man. All right, you are God's chosen people, man. It's not all about making making it living and who got who invested this and who did that. That's bullshit, man. All right, that's bullshit. There's nothing you can do when the president declare martial law. There's nothing you can do when he declare World War Three and say it ain't so. Say it will never happen. All right, say it won't never happen, man. You know. If anything, you should have been watching, you know, and you should have been taking heed. That's why for the brothers that are sincere, you know, it, it's, it, you got to be quick and quick, man. You know, you got to give up the world like this, you know, you gotta, I'm done with the world. No longer prolonging. Um, Yeah, you know, I'm studying now, but I still want to go out. Nah, you, right now you have to quicken like, like this, man. There's no time to be, you know, playing both sides and, oh, I'm getting some of the truth too, but you're still in the world. No, you got to give up the world like this. You can't look back. You, you hear the word, walk thee in it, man. Don't look back, man. Don't think twice. You know it's the truth. All right? You got to study. You got to clamp down. All right? It says, but when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, he that heareth, let him hear. And he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are for they are a rebellious house. And our people are rebellious, stiff-necked, hard-headed people, man. You better believe that. All right, so I'm going to go back to Amos 8 and 11. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of food, excuse me, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So, due to this YouTube ban, um, let me get that back. Excuse me. YouTube, ban. YouTube to ban hateful video and supremacist content. You all right? Now, we as teaching this gospel, we fall under that hateful content, man. Okay? Because the Bible do teach hate. The Lord himself, he said, I hated Esau and I have loved Jacob. Romans 9 and 13. Malachi 1 and 2 and 3. All right, Malachi, the first chapter, the first and second and third verse. You know, the Lord said, hate the evil, love the good. Who does evil? People. All right, demons that possess people in their thoughts and they do hateful things. That's them. Can't blame it on the spirit. It's you. The Lord, you can't go by the ideology of the churches. Oh, God don't, God don't hate the, God don't hate uh, the sin. He hate, what'd he say? What did, what that dude say? God don't hate the people, he hate the sin. That's crazy, man. It's people that does the sin. All right? So the most high hates you. And that's truth, man. All right? So um, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So you hearing all this crap on YouTube and all these different God, uh, gosp gospels, you know, you're hearing all this different uh, foolery, you know, guys that want to be uh, rich in this world, but you failed to get the truth, the word. All right. So there's a famine coming, man. There's a famine is here. It's here, man. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So, in this time, you're going to be want to seek these men, but you're not going to find it, as the Lord said. It says, And that day shall the fair virgin and the young men faint for thirst. Because the scriptures say, The knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, man. And right now, the knowledge and wisdom is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and his gospel. All right. Let me see if I can um, 
phone look like it's trying to die. I'm gonna wrap this thing up. I didn't want to make it too long. All right, so um, let me get back to the article. It says YouTube has updated its hate speech policies and will now ban videos with supremacist content as well clips promoting certain conspiracy theories. All right. It says today we're taking another step in our hate speech policy. All right. By prohibiting videos alleging that a group is superior in other in other to justify discrimination. All right. Seg segregation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it says YouTube says no to gay journalists requests and silence okay um, YouTube insists that it will ban all forms of supremacist videos stands in contrast to a similar policy change at Facebook which decided to ex to, uh, to ban white nationalists and white supremacist content seemingly ignoring similar context form uh, from for example black black sep black separatist 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 excuse me all right and radical uh, zionism movements nevertheless youtube presents videos that promote or glorify nazi ideology as an example that will break its new rules you know so basically what this is man is that eventually they're gonna take the content down, man? You know, because they keep improving and and more restrictions upon their policy of what they call hate. And you know, if you people, ones out there that truly that think you believe in the gut, you believe you true, you, know, you people out there that you know, so called believe in the Bible, you know, then. You doing anything according to the Bible is going to be restricted because the Bible is a separatist, the most high separatist. All right, okay, he he uh separated the nations, man. Okay, he's not all about bringing people together, he's about his people. All right, and that's just facts, man. Um, so I'm gonna just end it with these two scriptures and I'm gonna wrap this thing up. This is um, this is uh, second address. Right, because we want out this place, man. Second Edges 2 and 13. It says, Go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you. That day, matter of fact, I'm gonna start from one. This is second edges two and one. Thus saith the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage and gave them my commandments by manservants, the prophets. You see that? Manservants, prophets. All right, whom they would not hear. But despise my counsel. Exactly. This is exactly what um, the Lord, the, what I was been saying through the spirit and power of the Lord, man. This is, a, I'm, I'm glad the Lord told me to start at one, man. All right. Because you despise this word. And this is why when a famine comes upon this gospel of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you're going to go to and fro looking for it. And, it, and you're never going to find it. You're going to be destroyed. It says, The mother that bear them say unto them, Go your way, ye children. For I am a widow and forsaken. I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For ye have sinned before the Lord your power and done that thing that is evil before him. And that's right. Our people um, sin, all right, and worship different gods, man. When here it is, we supposed to worship Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. So the Most High has a controversy with Israel. All right. It says... Uh, but what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. So the way we're supposed to go, when we wake up to the fact that we're the Hebrew Israelites and the, what the Bible speaks of, we're supposed to ask the Lord for mercy, man. You know, you got Israelites that don't believe that they're Israelites, man. And that's because they don't know history. They never even um, tried to, eat, well, let's say not tried. They never strived to uh, research history or to research anything you know it's just according to how they feel that's how jake move according to how they feel it says but what shall i now do unto you i am a widow and forsaken
Go your way, O my children, and ask mercy of the Lord. Ask for me, O, my, o Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, which will not keep my commandments. And this is why we're in the condition that we are now. This is why Jake's so damn sleep they're worried about what celebrities are doing. Instead of worrying about getting themselves together and getting back right with the Most High and his son, Yahweh Shai. All right? You are adept. You are adeptus, man. All right? You owe Yahweh Shai your life. Yahweh Shai is the one that laid his life down, all right, for all of us Israelites, in particular the elect. But through him, all Israel will be saved, man. All Israel will be saved. Okay? So you owe Yahweh Shai, man, with your life. It says, um, verse 5, As for me, O Father, I call upon thee for a witness over the mother of these children, which would not keep my, co my covenant, that thou bring them to confusion. And you can't tell me Jake ain't confused today. There's so much confusion going on, Jake don't know his left from his right. He don't know, he don't know if he's a man or a woman. That's how much confusing it is, man. Jake don't know if he's a man or a woman. <laughs> that thou bring them to confusion and their mother to a spoil. That there may be no offspring of them. And that's what Esau is plotting on. For no offspring for you Israelites, man. No future for you. <laughs> Verse 7. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. This proves to you that the Israelites are scattered all over the world. Some of our people even look like the other nations. Some of our people look like Edomites. Some of our people look like Moabites. Some of our people look like Japhites. All right? We're scattered among all the heathens, man. And now, you know, they take on the name heathen. Okay? Because the word heathen and Gentile go two ways. All right? Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Usually. All right? Meaning it can go for Israelites. And really, it's supposed to go to the ones that wasn't Israelites, okay? From the jump, that wasn't given the law, statutes, and command, commandments, all right? So it says, let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. So you see what the Lord did, man? This is why you widow. See why Jake the way they are now, man? Sometimes it make you, it make me, me personally, it gets me mad, man. I be driving and looking at Jake and just... Like, what the fuck wrong with you people? Once again, I was interrupted. All right, so this is 2nd Edges chapter 2 and 12. And this is how you know Satan is at work. You don't want this word to go out, man. But this word is going to go out until the Lord make our tongue cleave to the roof of our mouth, man. Okay, so the Lord don't want this word to go out. So 2nd Edges 2 and 12, uh, 2 and 11, excuse me. Their, their glory also will I take unto, the, unto me. And give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life for an ornament of sweet Savior. They shall neither they shall neither labor nor be weary. Go, and ye shall receive. Pray few days unto you, that they may be shortened. And the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Alright, so the Lord is telling us, you know, to pray. For a few days unto this place. So when these elites and uh these different agencies go to you know putting a, a famine on the word, thumbs up, all right, because that's according to prophecy. All right, the Lord said pray for a few days. We're not praying to for this place um uh Babylon to be healed. The scriptures say take bomb for a pain, but no medicine can heal this place, okay. We're not praying for longevity of this place, man. We're praying for the Lord to destroy this place. All right. It says, um, go and ye shall receive. Pray for few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, take heaven and earth to witness. For I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good. For I live, saith the Lord. All right. So Yahweh Bashem al Shai have broken the peace, <clears throat> broken the evil into pieces, man. And ultimately, that's a prophecy which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to break you heathens into pieces, man. All right? You're all going to go to captivity. You're going into captivity, man. All right? You reap what you sow. Um, 
Let's see here. I have one more scripture, did I? Right. Yeah, Second Peter's twelve. Let's go there real quick. This is Second Peter's chapter three, and I'm gonna get straight to the point. It says three and ten. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So this was coming after the famine of the word. All right. You know, the famine on the word is coming. Brothers, take heed. You know, for those that despise this truth, destruction is around the corner. I'm reading what's come. I'm reading what's going to happen after the Lord shut the prophets up from speaking on the highway of things, the highway of the Internet of things, man. All right. So when these elites and these Edomites go to pushing buttons and restricting more and more and taking down videos and channels of this gospel of brothers uh, teaching this truth, this is what's coming after. All right. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heaven shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with ferrant heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? <clears throat> so what manner of person are we to be? Is all holy all holy conversation and godliness man manner our, manner in ourselves in the right manner all right which is serving yahweh bashim yahweh shai okay to the best of our ability that's the plate that's the manner you're supposed to be in and for all those that run to and fro looking for the men of the lord when a famine come on the word you're going to wish that you knew how to manner yourself in the way of the lord but then it's going to be too late this is why you're going to be looking for the prophets. All right. You're going to be looking for this word, the gospel. You're going to want to know the names of the Lord. You're going to want to know, you know, who you are as a people. You're going to wish you re rehearsed the Passover and the tabernacles and the holy days, man. All right. You're going to wish you had repented in that time, you know, but as is written in uh, second Edges nine. All right. Uh, uh, you have abused the Lord ways in the time when you had liberty. This is the time of liberty. You can do whatever you want. You can choose the most high or you could you, you could choose the world. You know, but most two thirds of our people, you choose the world. All right. That's why it's a beginning and an end. And he said, the end shall manifest. Um, verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the most high. So that goes right hand in hand with second address. All right. Uh, the second chapter in the 13th verse, man. When he said pray for a few days man Alright It says looking for and hasting Unto the coming of the day of Yahweh So that's what we're supposed to be doing man You know right now While we can The scriptures say it was our minds to go astray Seek the Lord ten times more So this is the time Where we're supposed to You know looking um, Excuse me Looking for and, and, and hasting you know, hasty, man. Let me um go into that word. Hasty. All right, which is Strong's G forty six ninety two Spudo. Spudo. Which means to haste, to make haste, to desire. Earnestly. All right. Make haste, 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 haste unto. With haste. Urgent. All right. So you're supposed to be, it says to speed, okay? You're supposed to be looking forward and hasting, urgent, you know? It says diligently or earnestly, okay? You're supposed to be diligently seeking the Lord, man. To speed, urge on, to urge on, diligently or earnestly. Make with haste unto all right, so, you know, they got the point. So let me read the scripture. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High. You're supposed to be looking forward to Yahweh Shai cracking those clouds, man. 
looking forward to the prophecies being fulfilled. This is what you, your mind and spirit is supposed to be into. But at the time when the Lord bring a famine on his word, you're going to be in the wrong spirit. Because you're going to be looking for the men while the men was going to be looking up, waiting for uh, redemption, waiting for salvation. You know? <laughs> That's why it's beautiful, man. Lord, this is beautiful. Hey, this is good news. You know, scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth before the truth, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So it says, looking for and hastening to the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Because what's coming after the famine of the word is destruction, man. So back to the article, YouTube to ban hateful videos with supremacy. Uh, with supremacist content, all right, it's gonna happen, man. They're gonna take all the videos down, they're gonna take all you YouTubers down that claim to uh speak truth, you know, and then it's and then it's, it's, it's over. That's it, you know. It, it, this place is not gonna just go and quiet all, all of the truth, and then you know, wickedness and lies just gonna keep going on. Nah, there's an end to lying, there's an end to Esau's kingdom, there's an end to your kingdom. You know, Job, what's that, Job 14? I'm going to get that and I'm going to wrap it up after this. I wanted to make this quick. Um, let's see here. Get it, got to get it. Job 14 and uh, 4. It says, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean, not one? All right, this place was strictly um, unclean, okay? This land is unclean. It's shed by the blood, all right? You, you shed, excuse me, the Edomites then shed the blood of the, the native and Seminole Indians all over this land, man. And the scriptures say the only way this plant, this land could be cleansed but by the blood that was shed therein. Okay? So your blood got to be shed across this land. This is Bible. I didn't make this up. This is scriptures, man. All right? How Bashim Yahawashai said this, man. All right? So it says, who can bring a clean thing out of, some, out of an unclean? Not one. All right? It says, seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee, thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So you can't pass, you know, your blessing from Esau. You know, Isaac gave Esau the blessing, which was a forced blessing because Jacob supplanted Esau two times. The second time, Jacob and his mother, Rebekah, went unto Isaac to receive the blessing. And he received the blessing of the firstborn son. All right. And the Lord prophesied it before the children were even born. The elder shall serve the younger. Okay. And that's what happened. Esau came out first, red and hairy, and Jacob came, came out as a plain man. All right. And it said the elder shall serve the younger. Jacob received the blessings, man, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, which is the kingdom of heaven. You know, it tells you in 2nd Ezra 6 chapter that when Esau rule, um, when Esau go down, Jacob is up next to follow. Not Moab. All right. Not an extension of Esau's kingdom. All right. So we got next, man. All right. So, you know, it's a beautiful thing. You know, you clap it up for that. Read the title again. YouTube to ban hateful video with supremacy content. Go ahead, man. Take it all down. Close the internet. Cut the light switch off. Because we know what time it is, man. So with that, I hope you brothers were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.